Let's focus on the controversy that's been playing out over the Chidambaram Nataraja temple and uh, the government. This is the uh, HR and CE department, the Hindu Religious and Charitable Endowments Department, claiming that they've received uh, several petitions talking about irregularities. A committee was formed by this department to look into what people have to say about the temple after the Dikshitars. The priests refused to cooperate and they've claimed that 14,000 odd petitions have mentioned irregularities in the temple management and some complaints. And these complaints are about no receipts for offerings and that there's an untouchability wall that's been put up blocking one of the gates which several locals have said must be removed. India today is on ground there in Chidambaram. We've spoken to several uh, of the priests, the Dikshitars at the temple. Take a look. This, this temple has been managed by a denomination. Hudu Dikshitars are denomination. And it is very clearly said by the Supreme Court that this is a denominational temple. So in a denominational temple, as per Article 26 of the Constitution of India, they have the right to manage and administer the religious institutions. And the government has got no say in it. Of course, it is subject to certain restrictions. Mm -hmm. If there are any issues which the government feels must be addressed, they must address it in the appropriate manner that is known to law and not act as if they are like, a, like anybody on the street. The government's prime responsibility is to uphold the law of the land and then uphold the Constitution of India. Several, uh, several uh, judgments of the Honorable Supreme Court, Honorable Madras High Court, have clearly said that the government of Tamil Nadu, whoever be the party the, which, which has been doing that job as, as the government, have time and again crossed the Lakshman Reka. If the government continues to do what they want to do in a manner that is not known to law, the legal steps that will be taken, that must be taken, and I am hopeful the Dikshitas will take, from faulty management and irregularities in financial records, the Chidambaram and a treasure periacoval or the Chidambaram Koval where we are at has now come under the radar of the HRNC department. This comes just after the HRNC had received several complaints uh, in across uh, petitions that had been filed by in and around uh, localites saying that there have been irregularities, also an alleged caste wall that has been built on the south side of the temple as well. When having come for in investigation and inspection, they were not allowed by the Podu Dikshidas or the management of the temple here and following which the HRNC department, the inquiry that has been raised, has given them a 15-day time to give a response to all these allegations that have been put forth in the complaints that were raised. Will the temple officials be able to answer to these allegations or what will be the response be? Are they still awaiting and standing by the Supreme Court uh, verdict that had been earlier given where it says the Chizamaram temple is apart and outside of the jurisdiction of the state and what will be the temple authorities will they raise forward and give an explanation to these allegations that is something that we will have to wait and watch with video journalist Daniel Apurvajay Chandran, India Today